welcome to Monkey Drone Collective and today we need to have a chat about this. This is the new X-Shot series, X-Shot Pro series long shot, uh, the skins edition, whatever, I don't know. This blaster appeared completely out of the blue. There was an image released of it a few weeks back, uh, some promo material with some gel ball blasters that X-Shot were launching and this was kind of stuck in there as well and then just all of a sudden it seemed to appear on the shelves in the UK completely out of nowhere. Uh, this is appearing in Smith's toy stores all over the UK. Appeared uh, down south in England first and then uh, up here in Scotland the kind of following week. And uh, wow, this is a bit of a game changer for the UK uh, in terms of the Nerf scene here. Uh, this is a pro series blaster, uh, kind of following hot off the heels of uh, Dark Zone's uh, pro, pro blasters. And we are shooting well over 130 FPS out the box with short darts included in the box uh, on toy store shelves here in the UK. Uh, as I say, this is a, a massive step up from what's been available anywhere in the UK up until this point. Uh, short dart blasters and over potentially over one dual muzzle velocity blasters on toy store shelves. It's, uh, it's a bit crazy to think of it. Uh, yeah, never never thought we'd see the day here in the UK. Uh, don't know if they're just testing the water with this, or what if this is just the first of many to come. Maybe Dark Zone will start uh, selling on store shelves here in the UK, we don't know. It's uh, Yeah, I mean, we had the Nexus Pro appear, can be ordered online here in the UK from Amazon and such, and uh, you can get them imported via the Europe, via Blaster Time and things as well. And, yeah, although they're kind of easily available, the shipping costs and import costs still make them vaguely expensive. This thing is coming in at 35 uh, British pounds, which is uh, crazy cheap. It's way cheaper than any kind of flagship Nerf blaster that we've seen recently. Uh, and just like half the price of uh, a Dark Zone blaster, if you were to get one here in the UK. Uh, can't, can't quite believe the price point they're putting this in at. Uh, £35, comes with 20 short darts, 20 long darts, two magazines, a short dart magazine and a full length magazine. Let me just see it somewhere. Yep, there we go. Uh, you've seen the little video beforehand, I've tested compatibility, so it'll take all full dart mags, it'll take Nerf ones, uh, it'll take different mag adapters, it'll take the dart zone adapter, it'll take the worker adapter, it'll take talon mags, it'll take dart zone mags, full cross compatibility. It's got a couple of cool features which we'll get to, uh, but yeah, I just this where this blaster came from, don't really know, and they've packed it full of features and given it an absolute rock bottom price point. Uh, it's crazy. The skins feature on this really cool. Lots of detailing, lots of uh, cool little things going on. Uh, every time you look at it, you can spot something different uh, in the design. Uh, lots of really cool stuff. Uh, Paint job, red, white and black, uh, might have to paint it green, <laughs> but uh, I do like a lot of this detailing, uh, it's very cool, so I might, I might mask some of the detailing off and uh, then uh, paint the rest of it green, we'll see. Uh, for this, this blaster, I think, I've not chronographed it, I've uh, been messing about with it in the garden here, it's, uh, it's providing the hits, it's... Uh, Plenty of people in the UK have chronographed them, I think coming in at 140 FPS on long darts and up to 160 with some of the short darts. It's a kind of bullpup design. We've got a kind of reverse plunger going on here with a kind of turn around, a barrel seated inside the plunger. So your spring's coming down here, pushing the air, turning around and the darts. So your effective barrel then starts about here and all the way up to the front here. It comes with uh, what is essentially a worker scar, a bit of the clone of a worker scar. The darts are also very similar to the X Shot Pro Dart, not the X Shot Pro Dart, the Dart Zone Pro Darts. They're very, very, fairly similar in design, few, few slight differences. The darts seem fairly good quality. If we can get these short darts on shelves in the UK, that'll be an absolute game changer for us as well. Uh, but yeah, this blaster is it's very good. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, the more I the more I mess about with it, the more I like it. I bought it just out of curiosity, but uh, messing about with it. Uh, I'd like seem to like it a lot. Build quality wise, I think it's on par with most most toy blasters, most north blasters. I would say build quality. You've got Nexus. This is a completely stock Nexus Pro kind of size comparison. So 
So you're looking around about the same size as Nexus Pro, but you've got the barrel look, effective barrel length is slightly longer. Uh, I've popped the barrel out and had a look. I was going to swap it. I was going to swap it with my brass barrel that I have in my custom Nexus. Uh, but the stock barrel on this is even longer than the extended brass barrel I have in mine. So your effective barrel length in your this it's uh, way more. You've got an extra three four inches effective barrel length in this because it's full puppy design. Uh, so I'm wondering if uh, yeah some of the aluminium barrels you can get out there for the other bigger blasters might just drop into this and make it really quite effective. I know some people have swapped out the spring and got it up shooting up to about 180 fps which would be very cool i might do something like that myself for this to replace my nexus my nexus hits about 180 to 200 so i'd be wanting this to hit the same ballpark uh, to replace my nexus pro uh, not a massive bullpup fan but there's a very cool feature on this which has kind of sold me on it yeah uh, so you have your normal mag release here so you have your big mag release on the back which releases your big mags and your mag adapter and then obviously your mag adapter has got the built-in mag release for your other mags but this also has a thumb release mag mag release here as well, which you just click that and the little gravity drop as well. This will work with Talon mags and the Dark Zone mags as well. As long as you're using the extra adapter, you'll notice my wee video at the front. If you use the other adapters, Worker or Dark Zone adapter, the thumb mag release doesn't work with the short drop mags. It only works with the, the extra adapter. Uh, so this, this design kind of sold me on the bullpup because I then don't have to mess about with my thumb um, I can then just drop the mag with my thumb there, which is what I'd be wanting to do with a, with a normal mag. Uh, which kind of makes this a bit more better, a bit, a bit easier to load in under your arm here, under your chin, instead of up front. Uh, but having having that mag release there, that, make, that makes a bit of a difference for me, definitely. and. Uh, would swing me towards using this build prep design uh, where I'm not a massive build prep fan uh, otherwise. So that's a very cool thing. You've also got a nice jam door here that pops open so you can get mass loads of access in there to the jam door. It's really cool. There's also a very cool feature on the front here. If you just remove these two screws here, the two pins that pop out and you can take off this front shroud here and you can get access to the barrel. So the barrel just friction fits in and out. So it'd be dead easy to swap out barrels. Uh, unfortunately don't think you can get to the string there because the priming mechanism's in the way. Uh, but yeah, swapping out the barrel is nice and easy without without stripping it down. Uh, stock's slightly adjustable. It moves back a grand total of about an inch, but uh, fully extended. This is uh, pretty comfy for me. Uh, grips are pretty big. I mean, adult hands around there. This is marketed as a 14 plus, quite clearly on the box. Uh, same as the rival blasters are, uh, so in the stores it is marketed as 14 plus, so obviously the grips are just that little bit bigger, they're not intended for child hands as such. Uh, some nice iron sights on the top, front one has a little dial there that you can move up and down to kind of dial it in, which is a very cool feature. Uh, actually, these are some of the best iron sights I've seen on a toy blaster actually, I think they're very cool. I would actually use these uh, rather than sticking a scope on this I think. Uh, I did stick scopes on my blasters, but it's all purely cosmetic because I very, very rarely use them. Uh, trigger, nice fun trigger pull, it's got a trigger lock as well. Obviously all these uh, rival blasters and everything and the Dark Zone Pro blasters all have trigger locks. Uh, as I say, the Scar Barrel is pretty much a clone of the Worker Scar. Uh, it looks very, very similar. It's slightly thinner plastic, I would say. And then you've just got this kind of flash hider, which is all cosmetic. So you can run it. I think people are getting an extra, an extra few FPS with the with the scale barrel off. Uh, but I was shooting it yesterday with the scale barrel on, and I was nailing a six-inch target from 40 feet. Yeah, nine times out of ten, it was very accurate. Uh, with that was using a Dart Zone Pro Dart. Uh, I've not really used the darts that it came with yet. I've just been using Pro Darts. Uh, through this and uh, it has performed incredibly well. Uh, as I say I've not chronographed this one but obviously people are getting around about 150 average uh, give or take uh, which yeah I, yeah it's just incredible I'm a bit, bit gobsmacked by this whole this whole thing. Uh, it's got uh, the primes nice and cool it's 
nice and smooth, a bit cranky. As I say, the build quality on this is, it feels thin. It feels thin, it feels creaky. It definitely feels like a toy. And it should, it's a toy. And the price point it's coming in at, could not expect anything else really. Uh, it's got a, it's got a half, half prime lock on it. So if you get that halfway back, it won't go forward again until you've completed the prime and then it'll go forward. Okay. Uh, dry firing sounds a bit, bit, bit dodgy. It's not got a great air seal like the box. If you can see here, it's got a little spring here, which is a cushion spring. And uh, if you completely plug the barrel there, yeah, the plunger just goes straight back. So there's not a great air seal on there. So that's something I'm going to have to visit as well. So perhaps, yeah, tuning up the air seal, getting a slightly bigger spring in this, we should be able to creep this up to uh, easily 180 FPS. And then at that point, it would probably take over my Nexus Pro, I reckon. Uh, I've recently got hold of the Unicorn Blaster, which I would use for kind of sub 130 games. I know there's quite a few people who try to detune these down to kind of 130 and 100 FPS even uh, to use at uh, kind of lower FPS games. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want this up to the t closer to the 200 marks using 200 FPS games because uh, I've got to a few of them and I yeah, this just feels feels very comfy. As I say, compared to my custom Nexus Pro, this is coming in considerably shorter by a good few inches. Uh, and if I could get this up to up to the same uh, FPS as my Nexus, I would definitely use this instead. Uh, it's got a couple of nice sling points on it as well, so it'll be able to go with my gear quite well. Uh, but yeah, uh, one thing about this is the magazines are incredibly flimsy. They are really thin plastic, really creaky. They, I've noticed there's a really good video by Steve from Fix It Anywhere. I'll, I'll try and stick a link to that in the description. He goes over it in great detail. He says the mags kind of stack a little wonkily when you fill them with darts, with the darts provided. Uh, and yeah, they just... If you were to stand on one of these, I'd reckon it would, that would be the end of it quite easily. Uh, I think we're getting 18 rounds in the, was getting 18 rounds in the short dart mag, even though it claims 15. I'm not sure how much you're getting that. But compared to the compared to a Talon and other mags, they are re really inferior. Uh, I would just use this with the Talon mags, but fingers crossed, if these <laughs> these types of mags can be available on store shelves, it's again. Uh, a massive game changer uh, for people here in the UK who want to access slightly higher, more competitive, higher FPS, more competitive games. Yep, so having access to all this uh, kind of equipment uh, on that you can just buy on the high street, yeah, it uh, changes changes the the landscape slightly in terms of uh, games and what's going on. Uh, and yeah, it should be really interesting. Uh, I think 200 FPS games are really quite accessible with these kind of types of just kind of off the shelf blasters, uh, especially the Dark Zone Pro blasters, hitting over 150, 160 FPS, and then now this, so a game, a game at about 200 FPS, uh, these blasters are com totally competitive, and then anyone who has slightly higher modified gear can still join in, and it's not kind of crazy 300 FPS, it's just tuned it down a little bit, uh, and it's perfectly accessible for someone to then go to the local high street, pick the blaster up and join into one of those games uh, and have a slightly more kind of adult focused experience uh, in this kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, as I say, X-Shot Pro Series Blaster, I hope they do more of these, uh, definitely. I'd like to see a nice, uh, a nice short dart pistol from them, would be a cool, cool thing to see. Uh, maybe a, something uh, Dark Zone often do quite high capacity blasters, it's a bit of a kind of gimmick they do a lot of the time. I'd love to see a really high capacity short dart blaster from them as well. Something a la like the Tomcat from Dark Zone, which was yeah, a really cool blaster. Uh, so fingers crossed, yeah. Fingers crossed this takes off. Uh, I know these haven't launched in the United States yet, hopefully when they get over there they will pick up a lot of traction as well. And uh, next shot might uh, take it and run with it. Uh, my next plan for this is to crack it open, have a look at the strings, uh, get the FPS up to something which would uh, be kind of useful in my armoury and something make, make this uh, kind of usable for me. 
it's uh, going to be fun. Good project over there. Can't wait to see what else happens. Uh, I fully recommend getting one of these, having a look at it for 45 quid. It is an absolute bargain. And uh, yeah, it's a kind of cute, even to the price point where you can just uh, buy it to have a mess about with it, really. Uh, it's not a massive, massive investment uh, compared to, say, spending over 100 quid on a Walker Swift or a Walker Harrier with all bells and whistles. Although they will get more FPS, but uh, for a bit messing about, this is uh, well worth, well worth uh, an investment and uh, having a look at it. So this was the X-Shot Skins Pro Longshot. Uh, yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, follow us over on there, and here on YouTube. And we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.